Hey Cancer, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate you so much. All right, let's get into it. This is going to be your reading. It's for the month of May. Um, they're not long readings this month, but they are definitely, um, I've enjoyed doing them. They've been really great. So let's see what else we can get out here for Cancer. So as always, any, any placement in Cancer, any placement in Cancer, all right, and for the month of May 2021 or whenever you are guided to watch it, it could be a year from now, whenever you're guided to watch it, okay? So, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this cancer reading, what's important? Happily ever after. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what else comes out. I'm going to get, um, oh, I'm sorry. These are the fairy cards. I do not remember the exact name of them. I keep telling everybody on every video, please, if someone would like to post it, please do. I don't have the box, so I don't remember, but there's something fairy, fairy something. And these are magical unicorn cards. So spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Okay, we have two that popped right out. Brothers and sisters and love heals fear. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, we're going to talk about that. We're also going to grab a few more. We're going to get into this in a minute. I've already see a theme happening here. Um, this is Quantum Oracle. What do we need to know about this cancer reading? Oh, that's way too many. What do we need to know about this cancer reading? Please, just one or two. One or two. Cancer. Anyone with cancer placements? May 2021 or whenever. Joy is fun and the loving woman. Happy success. Shut the heck up. Wow, that's gorgeous. All right. We also have here Energy Oracle. What else do we need to know? Cancer reading. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Are you kidding me? All right. You got to see this, Cancer. Oh. These two flew out with patience. Woman holding the coin, woman holding the heart, and patience. Beautiful. And victory. All right. Really, really nice. Um, you got a lot of great cards that are they're flying out. Before I can even say anything, they're flying out of the deck. I didn't even do a um, psychic tarot card, and that's my intention. So let's see if something good comes out for you. Wow. I mean, I can't even, I can't even get a chance to shuffle and they're going to flying out bottom of your deck. I wanted to take that as well. And it's just so funny because the bottom of your deck, this is almost the same card, different decks. Patience is the temperance card in the energy oracle and in the psychic tarot balance is the temperance card. So we have Archangel Gabriel here, or I'm sorry, Archangel Michael here bringing something in there's something important about your reading there's um a, there's some kind of um new beginning starting for you no doubt about it prosperity begins as a number one card there's a brand new beginning here for you it's being brought there's a victory happening here something it's like a completion i feel like you're completing this is a number 10 card as well two and eight is ten all right so uh, there's some kind of completion coming in here. It is heaven sent, no doubt about it. Um, it has, it's like everything. It's the um, full picture. It's security. It's love. It's a transformation. Look at the butterfly on her head, smack dab in the middle. The heart chakras popping. We've got here, the um, coin is here. This is love and uh, stability. Something, there's some kind of beautiful completion happening here and a new beginning coming in for someone we have here happily ever after. So whatever this is, this completion is, it's everything you could want. Well, we see that because it's stability and love. It's, it's everything. It's divinely guided. Brothers and sisters, to get al along with others, see the love and the best within them. And love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. Wow, this is deep. All right, so this absolutely has everything to do with, and this is so cancer to me, um, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them, brothers and sisters. Love heals fear. The power of your love can heal bullies and angry people and, 
and angry people. Oh, okay. the power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. Yeah, love heals fear. All right, so in other words, both of these cards are all about uh, the way you can overlook the bullies and still have peace and love in your heart. Look, even if you've been bullied by people, mistreated by people, dealt with um, bullies and mean people, you still manage to somehow go forward with love. Um, go forward with peace in your heart. Um, this is a cancer trait. And yes, don't get me wrong. If you wrong a cancer, a cancer will never speak to you again, ever. Like I know that about cancers, that if you hurt a cancer, they will never, they, they are perfectly fine. Never speaking to you again, ever. Um, but if You've been put through, like you could have been put through, I feel like, and this doesn't have to be brothers and sisters to me, any family members. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's really gone through it with people who were supposed to be family or even extended family. You've been bullied, you've been treated bad, and you've always tried to still get along. You've always tried to still do your best. You've always tried to see past it, to try to, so that... You can make it so everyone's getting along, right? You don't want everybody to not get along. You're willing to sacrifice yourself, whether they're calling you names, whether they're hurting your feelings, whether they're doing stupid stuff to hurt you. You still think of the good of everyone and you'll sacrifice yourself for that happily ever after, for that trying to make it right. I do feel like you're going, I almost feel like I have a cancer here who's getting some kind of a victory, who's getting a karmic retribution, so to speak, and getting their happily ever after, after because they stayed in this energy even when people treated them like crap. There's a victory here and there's a happy ending here. There's a joyous uh, fun coming into your life. This is not an ending. Happily ever after. This is a new beginning. Happy success. This is happy, happy, joy, joy, victory all the way around the loving woman. Whoever you are, you've stayed in this high integrity no matter what. And Archangel Michael is here saying, look, you've remained balanced and we're bringing you balance into your life. We're bringing you financial success we're bringing you love success we're bringing you victory all around happiness joy all of it prosperity because you've stayed in this high integrity even when you had every right to not be in a high integrity i love it i really feel like somebody here is getting some kind of karmic reward i really do let me keep going guys all right so, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this cancer reading? What's important here? What do we need to know? What are the most important messages you have? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. For anyone with cancer placements, whenever they're guided to see this reading. Okay, guys, this is the ver vice versa tarot. For most of you, I know you've seen it before. For those of you that haven't, there's a different perspective on each side of the card. Instead of reading reversals, they have their own reversals attached to them. The side that we see is the side I read. Okay, that's just the way I do it. Not all readers do it that way, but I do. All right, so, whoa, that's a lot. All right, let's keep moving here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? Cancer reading, May 2021. For anyone with cancer placements. Wow, that's so weird. Somebody else had the same card in the same exact spot. And it was, I don't remember. Virgo? Maybe Virgo. All right, what else do we need to know here? Cancer reading. Oh, wow, that's really interesting, too. These all flipped over in my hand, and they're all cards of walking away from something and moving towards something else, and that was in the Virgo reading as well. So I'm going to put them all back because I want to see what different reading comes out. So if you're a Cancer with Virgo placements or a Virgo with Cancer placements, or if you're a Cancer dealing with a Virgo or a Virgo dealing with a Cancer, please watch both readings, okay, because you could be cross-watching your person or... You could be cross-watching yourself if you have both in your chart. Okay, let's keep going here. What else do we need to know about this um, cancer reading, please? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's good, though. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, good. All right. What else? Um, no, just one or two. What do we need to know about this reading? So you got seven of wands. You got eight of swords. It came right back out. That's so crazy. This four of uh, cups, no matter what, it came out reversed before. Now it came out in the upper. I put it back in because it was came out with a bunch of other cards. But here it is again, coming right back out. So is it in the reverse or upright? I'm not sure because it came out both ways. Maybe it needed to turn around. All right. What else do we need to know about this reading? Cancer reading. One more cancer reading, please. Cancer reading. Yeah. Um. Wow. That's weird. Okay. All right. Virgo had that one too, I believe. And we've got the death card at the bottom. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about this. We're going to talk about the bottom of your deck in a second. All right. Um, if some of you, some of you might have gone through a hard time with a fire sign and Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, probably a man, but it doesn't have to be, um, there's freedom coming. There's truth coming. There's victory coming. Um, see the victory reef being brought in by the eagle and look, the eagles here as well, showing the freedom you have from, you were stuck and blindfolded. Um, you're being freed from this, whatever it is. And it was, um, possibly a situation where you've had to fight for yourself. And this has left you really, really hesitant to even, you know, accept anything. But here we have, now look at this. We have the pentacle in the hand and we have this person with the pentacle in the hand. I feel like somebody here is trying to figure out where to invest, who to invest in. What do I do? Where do I go? What direction am I going to go in? There's something going on here. For some of you, there's something financial coming in with you because we have the woman hold. Look at this. This is the loving woman twice. This is usually queen of cups, but could be any loving woman. Someone who's got love in their heart. Someone who is um, sensitive, caring, loving, kind. And then we have the queen of coins. I feel like this is the same woman that came out together. And um, I definitely, and it came out with the uh, patience card up here. The Archangel uh, Michael card of divine timing and of um, temperance, balance. And it came out, you know, and then the balance card came out as well, which is the same card. So I put them up here together. So we remember that we had this come out twice. You've had, you have a lot of doubles. You have the queen of cups twice. The woman holding the heart and the loving woman twice. You have temperance twice. You have joyous fun and happy success and victory and a new beginning. I mean, it's just amazing how many repeat cards you got here and how many cards go very well with the cards you got. Um, this is all about healing something, healing yourself. You're happily ever after it's coming. I feel as though it's been about divine timing. I feel like you've gone through a karmic situation, possibly with a man or someone else. If you are the man, especially, I feel like your freedom's coming, your truth is coming, your clarity is coming, your fight is now over. You're coming to a time where there's a new beginning coming in for you. You are closing out an old cycle, the ending and transformation and the new beginning is here. Um, the death card's at the bottom. We also have this um, moon card, which is all about you receiving information from Spirit God Universe, and it also has to do with eclipses. So this ending could have come as a result, and this is not just an ending. This is a beautiful new beginning. Don't forget that. These are all beautiful cards. So this ending is a transformation. It's a time when this ends, this trapped, this needing to fight for your life, this trapped feeling, this stuck feeling, this feeling of I'm on I'm an island this is a person who's an island I'm on my own there something is changing drastically and I think someone I, I absolutely feel like for some of you this is someone coming in to offer you this beautiful new beginning they're going to give you their heart they're going to give you stability they're coming in to offer you a new direction a new victory there's two cards of victories here the ace of swords and the victory card right in the middle of your reading right there with happy success and with joyous fun right there this is victory coming in your victory reef is on its way but who is this king of wands i'm going to clarify for sure all right, let's go. Um, this is a complete transformation coming in for someone, no doubt about it. 
let's get some clarity around this. I'm going to use the Chakra Wisdom cards. They are very difficult to um, shuffle. They are extremely hard like boards. So just bear with me, please. Spirit and angels, but they're well worth it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading, please? It's the Cancer reading. It's for the month of May 2021, but could resonate at any time, and it's for any placement in Cancer. Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Please allow the most important messages to come through and for me to deliver them as carefully and as accurately as possible for the people who need them the most. Allow me to connect with as many people as we can. Okay, let's do this. What do we need to know about this reading, please? Um, tell me about this King of Wands reversed. What do we need to know about him? Back turned. What, what do we need to know about the King of Wands? Wow. All right, all these fell out. We have Princess of Cups reversed, King of Coins reversed, and Five of Swords reversed. And it's funny because right under these two this ending and your information coming in and this ending being brought on by an eclipse we have the five of swords there as well someone who's mistreating someone even as they're down on the ground this could be um, a very toxic situation it could be a group situation it could be work it could be a partner it could be anything we also have here the king of coins reversed princess of cups reversed and that same five of swords reversed pops out of the deck to clarify this man right here king of wands so your man could be an aries leo sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio capricorn taurus virgo or aquarius libra gemini in fact he could be anybody <laughs> that's everybody so whether you are this man or whether you're dealing with this man there's something going on here that you're busting free from this person look healing from this person and moving away from this person and if this was a group this could have been multiple people this could have been multiple reversed people toxic people that you are busting free from look at this you were shut down you really had to heal from this you're done with it though and look at this eight of wands in the tower something is getting blown sky high quickly because of something someone says and it's going to take you out of the situation with the devil bust you free from something toxic look at this tower i like this tower this tower busts someone free from the devil and the devil ends up on their head somebody else just had these same two cards i want to say it could have been virgo it was one of the earth signs i want to say it was virgo you're busting free from a toxic situation or you're being called to bust free virgos was all about their intuition telling them to get away get out get out of something get away move away change your location change your job change your house something so please watch it. I feel like these two can, are connected in some way. Whether you are a Cancer dealing with a Virgo or a Virgo dealing with a Cancer or whether these are both in your chart, you are just being told to bust free from whoever and whatever this is. And it looks like something's going to be said that absolutely does blow the situation up and free you from whatever this is. And it's going to happen really quickly. It's going to be like... Um, Something is said or information comes in and boom, you're free from the devil. I love it. I love it. Now, I don't know if the devil was one person or multiple people. I think for most of you, this was multiple people. We have King of Wands reversed, Princess of Cups reversed, King of Coins reversed, and Five of Swords reversed. And I feel like this was more than one person. But... For each of you, that could be different. Whatever it is, it's transforming. Whatever it is, especially if you are a woman, you look amazing. We're coming through as queen of coins. We're coming through as... Um, so this woman is going to have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. Um, doesn't have to be, but you're coming through in this energy of very... Um, well, there's something really nice coming in for you, I feel. I feel like you are getting some kind of victory and in this victory it's going to it's going to be really nice. I feel like it's going to help you heal your heart chakra. I feel like it's also going to help you with your stability and I feel like it's going to move you right into a place of peace and it's going to blow up anything that was toxic done. I forgot to pull you guys. Did I pull you one of these? Oh, I did. Okay, Prosperity Begins. There's your new beginning. I thought I forgot to pull you a uh, Psychic Oracle, but there it is. That's your new beginning. Your um, 
prosperity, your new venture coming in. This is beautiful energy. It really is. But you can see where you came from wasn't as beautiful. But it's it's ending. It's being blown up. I wonder why it's being blown up. I want to really quickly look back at this. Where did I put that? Oh, it's in this deck. I'm so sorry. Let's see why this is being blown up. I can see somebody might be saying something. Or is it just that you're charging forward and leaving it all behind? For some of you, you're being called to move. For some of you, you definitely have Virgo in your chart. Or you're dealing with a Virgo or whatever. Somebody here is definitely being called to move. Was it Virgo? It might have been Capricorn. I don't remember. It was either Virgo or Capricorn reading. One of the two. Whoever had that um, busting free from something, moving forward, you've got to move, you've got to move on, you're getting the information. I don't know, whichever one of you had that information, I mean, had that reading come out, whichever one of them had that, I would watch the earth signs. Forward movement, some of you are absolutely moving. Some of you are just moving from a place where you were shut down and now you're moving forward. And this was because spirit has asked you to, has intuitively been sending you messages. But for some of you, uh, this would be you going after a new beginning. This would be you. Uh, but I really feel for a lot of you, there's something amazing coming in for you. This is your happily ever after. It was all about divine timing and someone's coming in. If you are too, if you are women who are into women there's another woman coming in if you are women who are into men there's a man coming in and vice versa men okay if there's however it works out however however it works out for some of you you're going to move somewhere just like i had come through i'm sure it was virgo um and this is going to be beneficial if not you know a virgo who's going to do this this is really really nice energy um, like I said, I love seeing this tower blow up that devil and that devil ending up on its head because this devil was holding you back, whether this was energy holding you back or your own mind holding you back or your own energy holding you back or other people. There is a lot of people here and this is very toxic with the five of swords showing up twice. I feel as you're busting free from toxic people. I do. I'm going to find out. And now to me, it looks like it happens because some kind of information comes out. Something, look, it's it's Knight of Swords and Eight of Wands. This is information coming in that could be about toxic people. Three of Cups reverse can be toxic people um, that were, you know, doing something to you, kicking you, hurting you, you know, like I said, this is about the ugliest card I have in any deck. I find this to be the most repulsive card I've ever seen. This is somebody who's taking great pride in hurting someone who's already down on the ground. How disgusting is that, right? It's all coming out. There's information coming out and something's getting blown up. All right, let's get a little, imp I, that's what I feel. I feel as though, yep, and something's getting balanced out. Six of coins flew out of there. Justice. Woo, baby. What is going on right now? All right, something, there's some kind of balancing happen, happening right here and now. This is justice. This is victory. Tell me about this. What is happening? I just want one or two. Um, wow. Queen of Swords, Princess of Swords, both popped out in reverse. Somebody lied. Okay, and that's getting justified here. Um, something's getting balanced out. I'm telling you, these were. this could have been a mother-daughter. Queen of Swords, Princess of Swords, really? Do we have toxic family members involved? Like I said, somebody has put up with a whole lot, and somebody is about to get their karmic retribution. I'm telling you, these are all falling out. I'm not taking them all. Um, can I just have... Um, I just wanted one on the, I didn't even get to ask the question yet. The Tower Devil Reversed. Can we just get one card on that? Tower and Devil Reversed. Princess of Wands, Knight of Coins. Someone is coming in with some kind of information, action. Something's coming in. There's the coin coming forward and the wand coming forward with information. There's, I'm telling you, there's information coming forward and something's getting balanced out. Definitely. Wow. Okay, guys, let me get you. Um, I don't know what this is for you, Cancer. For each of you, it's going to be different. Definite balance everywhere. The balance card and the patience card and the six of pentacles and justice are all cards of balance. 
Whatever this is, is going to balance what I feel could have been a karmic cycle you dealt with really crappy people. I really do. And I believe you're getting rewarded for putting up with it. And I believe this could have been a long time coming for you. Like Spirit going, look, this person deserves this reward for what they put up with. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do I need here, please? What do we need to know for anyone who will resonate with this reading from the bottom? Oh, that's too many. Let's see. Beauty, purification, and purpose. Whew, this was definitely karmic. Okay, so see this little angel trucking up the side of the mountain, how much work it was? There was a purpose to this. It was a karmic cycle. Um beauty's coming in this you're gonna see the other side of this the happily ever after you're gonna see the woman holding the heart the woman holding the coin the loving woman the happy joyous fun happy success prosperity victory you're gonna see all this the ace of coins it's all coming purification um okay so you're gonna get some kind of news so make sure you're taking your spiritual baths and you're getting really balanced doing anything that can be cleansing to help you uh, you're going to get some information. And anytime we get information that has to do with karmic stuff, it's a trigger. Even if it's good news, it's still a trigger. So they're just saying, make sure you get really balanced. There was a purpose to the whole thing. And you're going to find out what that was. And it's all going to be to your be benefit. Forgiveness is sitting on top, sticking out. I had to take it. Forgiveness sitting right there. I didn't know what it was, but I saw it sticking out. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. So in other words, there's going to be a need for forgiveness. Whether you do that or not is totally up to you. I'm not getting involved in that because I don't want people spouting out at me. How dare I ask you to forgive? I'm not asking. All right, let's get that straight right now. It came out. I showed it to you. Good luck with that. If you'd like to forgive, it's totally up to you. If you'd not like to forgive, totally up to you. I'm not getting involved in that end of it, but I wish you luck. I hope that you guys enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, subscribe if you need a personal reading. My information is directly beneath this video in the description box. Just reach out to me by email. If you do reach out to me by email for reading, please on the subject line write personal reading or private reading um, so that I see the email and answer it because I get a lot of junk mail. If you want an emergency reading, please put that on the subject line of your email so that I get back to you within the next 24 hours and get your reading done for you. Okay. Um, other than that, everything you need to know, if you're looking to donate to the channel, which I have appreciated everyone who does that, I appreciate you so much. Um, the information's directly beneath this video. The PayPal is there. Also, my email's there. If you're looking to book a reading in the many ways that you guys support the channel, I appreciate you so much. Um, so, uh, and the prices of the readings is down there as well. So please do check that out. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon. I hope you have a great month. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonated with you um, and if you think it's your reading. All right, talk to you soon. Have a good month. Bye.